Well, hello everybody. We are back. We ain't got no raccoons, but we got two cats. This is uh, Hoover, who's not eating the treats that I put out there. And we got our little gray buddy. I don't know if he's going to stick around. He's probably not used to the flashlight. And we got Champ trying to jump out. But yeah, same old, same old. We're plugging away here. And I officially got my three contracts, so that's good. And uh, it's been a lot of paperwork riffraff going on right now with a company I never used before so you gotta you say make sure you cross your T's and dot your I's and uh, I already seeing some red flags but I'll keep you posted on how that goes but it was good to get that call and start moving forward with the other jobs oh that was a good breeze huh Woo! But besides that, uh, it's really just been a cat show right now. I got a rolling uh, laryngitis, I guess, if you will, for the cats. It started with Chewy, and then she's better now, and Dylan and Cheech were next. And now Mushka, Holly, and Zeus have the laryngitis thing going. So I've been giving them some antibiotic alternative, uh, over-the-counter stuff. And Cheech is coming around. Dylan's already got more energy, but the other ones <clears throat> uh, are just starting with it. Holly, Mushka, and Zeus. And uh, Mushka will be tough to to administer anything if I if I can't get her to eat it out of food. Hey, yeah, bud, what's this? I want some treats. Oh, I mean, scary. Yeah, those are treats. Those are treats. Yeah, I know. Don't run away. Eat your food. Hey, this one's a good boy right here. The big boy. Yeah, you yeah, big boy. I think Grandma was right. I think uh, Catrick is bigger than all of them because <laughs> this guy is big, but I think it's just his face. Catrick, Catrick is about 23 pounds. So this guy looks like he's about 20. But, so we got to keep an eye out on the cats and uh, if Chewy didn't recover the, as quick as she did, uh, they all would have went to the hospital or what do you want to call the vet by now. But she came around. Dylan's coming around. Uh, Cheech is more active today than he's ever been. So, because he was really just sleeping for the past four days. <clears throat> and I bought, uh, bought some uh, soft food, but it's just all creamy. It, there's, there's no chunks in it, so they can get that down because the hard food's a little tough to eat with the strep throat or laryngitis, whatever they got. And uh, all the information I looked up said said about 10 days uh, to, to uh, you know, before they're better. So we're around four days with Cheech, and he's coming around now. So keep an eye on it. I think everybody would be good. <clears throat> and I'll try to put some of that uh, natural antibiotic stuff in some soft food for Mushka because there's no way – you can grab her and <laughs> get you. she'll uh, scratch me to all hell. Oh, you taking off, buddy? Where you going? And and uh, we'll go from there. Zeus will put up a pretty big fight too. Holly, I'm pretty sure I can uh, administer some, but Zeus and Mushka will put up a pretty pretty good fight, especially Mushka. And yeah, I uh, forgot to mention we got the house up here, and you can see we got some snow. This has been. Uh, this has been Hoover's spot for the past couple of days. Yeah. Well, he's content. There's a nice blanket at the bottom. This is the top shelf. There's another section. There's a nice uh, big comf comforter in there so he can dig himself uh, his way to the bottom of it and stay nice and warm. It's cold, but it's not too, too bad right now. I mean, we got some snow, but it's the winter. He's used to it. It's not his first year being around, so... And I can't take him in. He's too too unpredictable. He's gone after me a few times. Uh, when I go to put the food down, he looks like he wants to scratch me. And if I take too long, it looks like he wants to go after my legs. <laughs> so I can only imagine what would happen if I brought him in. But he's doing good. He'll he's a, he'll, he'll make it. If I gotta make a couple adjustments to the house, we can do that as well. I'm not sure as far as going, as far as putting a heater in there. I did buy one because I thought I was going to leave the kittens and the mama on the day porch, but they they adjusted really well. And they're doing they're doing great. So it's weird that they're fine 
you know, they're probably the ones that got uh, my other cats sick, but they're act they're absolutely fine. So I'm uh, I'm just banking on that. And we'll all come around. <clears throat> but that's pretty much it for the update. I got some security cameras for my house here, and I'll put one on the porch facing down. But I don't know if it's gonna do any justice as far as close-ups because obviously I'm not gonna put the camera down low where somebody can just break it or spray paint or whatever you want to do not that there's any type of trouble like that around this neighborhood but I just got them from my own security and it's good to have why not right what you doing in there huh oh yeah he's got food in there he's got food down here yeah, tons of water. He just had some soft food. He didn't even finish it all. I'm surprised. Yeah, got some soft food down there. So we're plugging away here. Just wanted to get a video out to you guys, give you an update on the cats. The raccoons are pretty much done for the year until about March. I think March they'll start coming around again. But besides that, we'll keep shooting you some videos like this. Now, I appreciate you tuning in. Hit that like button. See you next time. Goodbye, bye. -bye.